Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you want to see this third rendition of the Look What You Made Me Do by Taylor Swift video makeup tutorial, then let's get started. Starting off, I already did my brows. I will leave down linked below the two tutorials I did before this because on each of them I did my brows on camera. But I'm just going to go in using my pore filler by NYX just to start off the base and then this is the look I'm doing it's the one year she was dancing with the I love TS dancers and she just looks super edgy and angry and I love it but looking at the smoky eye it's actually a dark purple so that's what I'm gonna be going with priming my eyes as usual and blending it out and then setting it also with my fit me powder Now for the first eyeshadow, I'm actually only really using two. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave and just using this purple. In the pan, it looks like a very rich purple, but on the eye, it comes out very cool and almost blue tinted, grayish color, and it's just perfect for this. So that's my first transition. And then I took just a little bit on the fluffy just to start off the process of putting that on my lid. This entire look is just really edgy and messy and I really like it. But going into my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm just going to be taking this dark, dark purple and using my MAC 217 and smoking that through my entire crease from inner to outer corner. And then just blending everything out because even though it is messy, we still want to blend. <laughs> then taking those two shades again on the flat side of my Smashbox, I am going to be putting that all over my lid and then blending out some more. And then using any kind of creamy shade, I am just going to be putting that on my brow bone it will aid in just making it look more clean and um, it will help just the whole blending process but now going on to the winged liner in this look she also had a winged liner but not too big it's not really the focus of the look um, so just really you can do whatever size wing you would like moving on to the eyelashes I am just going to be using the kiss wispy lashes um, again, she's got false lashes on, but it is not the focus. She, you, she wanted her eyes to be seen in it, so I just think these are the perfect ones. Moving on to the base, I'm going to be using one of my favorite foundations, which is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Comfort Serum 25-Hour Foundation in the color 091 Light Ivory. This look was a very matte, matte look. I think it's the most matte out of all of her tutorials. She had no highlight. Everything was just very, very matte. So I'm going to be using my concealer as I have in every video. The Fit Me with the Tarte Shape Tape to highlight and blending all of that out. And then for the powder, I'm using the Loose Fit Me Powder, which is really my favorite. Again, I've used that in every one of my tutorials. And for this, instead of like the others where it's just placing it on the places you need it, on this I set my entire face to give me a very blank matte look. So doing the baking technique with the beauty blender underneath my eyes and all just all, yes all up on my face making sure it really gets in there using the damp beauty blender makes it melt into the skin so it gives you the matte look but it doesn't give you the powdery look which is what I love now going with the black shade of the Jaclyn Hill palette in the same brush that I used with the dark purple I'm just going to deepen it up even more it just wasn't edgy enough so just in the outer V and blending it in and then of course blending it out with my big fluffy brush so after that, I'm going to be bronzing up my entire face using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This look, she is intensely bronzed. I mean, she is super bronzed to match up with the really intense look. So don't be afraid to go ham. And then you also want to drag it down your neck. And then 
blending it out as always with whatever's left on your beauty blender. It just makes it look more seamless and less muddy. Now once again, as I've said in every one of my tutorials, I'm just going to contour down my nose to make it more her size. But this part is obviously very optional. Going on to the underneath, I'm just going to be taking that dark shade underneath from the Fortune of the Favors, Fortune Favors the Brave palette and going underneath my eye. And then off camera, I just applied black gel liner and now I'm playing my mascara. For the inner highlight, corner highlight, as always, everything was matte. So I just went in with the MAC Vanilla pressed eyeshadow and really highlighted it. And also just took it up to my brow bone to clean it up. For the lips, it is a very dark red vampy vampy color. So I went with the Milani lipstick in the shade 40 Cabernet Blend. It is such a comfortable lipstick and it smells amazing. But as always, you want to make sure that it is extremely crisp in every one of these videos. And it, it's really Taylor Swift's signature, but her lipstick is always on point and it is always so crisp and so cleaned up. So I'm just going afterwards with a little bit of my concealer to just crispen up the lines to make it look more like it did in the video. And after that, you are done. Don't forget to subscribe to my video so you don't miss out on the future Taylor videos that are be coming out this week. And like this video if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much.